and will be separate from society. And they predicted less than 1% would not join. And that by 2025, the large portions of the public would be inserted into pods. And that uh, wiring and chips would be added to the brain. Uh, now, this is, this is the Pentagon. And that they would slowly phase it out and that people would voluntarily enter it. Then they had that movie that came out a few years ago with Bruce Willis where everybody lives at home and they have their, uh, their uh, biological surrogates. You know, they have this electronic android that goes out for them. All Pentagon, all laid out. And you're going, well, that's just Pentagon theorizing. No, that's the plan. That's the plan, and that's the level before they go to the pod, and that's where the whole matrix comes from. The Pentagon plan is that you're going to live in a tank, okay? And you can say, well, that's not going to happen. Well, folks, they're trying is the point. You're going to live in a tank and be tied into this virtual world. And look, people already spend real money uh, in all these Second Life video games and all the rest of it and pay thousands of dollars for wardrobes and Ferraris. And they even meet women and, and, and become prominent and become – and the system makes them celebrities, a few of them, to make you all pile in. And so if people are already ready to give up their money to be part of an imaginary world by the millions – there's a whole bunch of different systems – what are they going to do – Philip K. Dick wrote about this 30 years ago, the wireheads. And it turns out Philip K. Dick, I've talked to people that know his family well, the family. I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm not. Well, he was his house was broken into. Uh, he was being followed by the government. Family didn't believe it till they witnessed it. Uh, Dick lived in San Francisco, knew some of the futurist society people, uh, knew some of the uh, what is it? The uh, the organization of. Uh, psychedelic research, which had a bunch of government connections. I'm not going to get into what they're interfacing with, but <laughs> they believe they're in contact with off-world groups. I mean, th this is what the government's into, folks. They're taking the DMT. They've got the black op commanders gobbling high-powered hallucinogens in. Uh, see, I don't even get into all this stuff. It, it, we're in trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We're in trouble. The clockwork elves, all of it, I shouldn't even get into it. But the issue here is that whether this stuff's real or not, the globalists think it is, and the elves are telling them, come on, join us, plug in, it's going to happen. People read Dick's stuff 30 years ago, and they go, how did it all come true? Because he had government connections, ladies and gentlemen. PKD was, was being fed this stuff, and he got a, several of his novels stolen uh, and got threatened, and a lot of other stuff happened. Uh, but... All right, I'm now ranting. The point is, is that the CIA people, and if you go back, they're the ones that gave out the ingredients for LSD on the college campuses. They're the ones that synthesized DMT. They're the ones that did all of this. The owners of Time Life Books in the 40s were obsessed with this. Uh, they believe they're communicating with entities. They call them clockwork elves. Uh, Joe Rogan talks about he takes it. You see the elves, little green hats. There's a reason all cultures see the elves. I'm not into this. I don't take it. Let's say it's not real. Okay, I don't want national news to say Jones believes in elves. The elite, okay, and most of these old men you see at Bilderberg, there's a reason they're all whacked out of their minds. They're taking DMT. You think they're all a bunch of old men? They're in power because they were into this stuff 70 years ago. They were jacking DMT 70 years ago. They were injecting it. They were in uh, 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 special tanks. They, uh, the, 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 Their whole... Their whole science is, is, is way ahead. We don't even know what they've got. And the point is, is that they want to, just by, by phasing this in, you'll be able to wire your head in and just get unlimited pleasure. It'll feel like ten times the best orgasm for three days if you want straight. And, and, that, and that people will not eat. They will then starve to death. They've done the test with monkeys. I've been led into the UT facility. They've been doing these tests for 50 years. They're, they're doing them right now. Uh, with flicker rates, with televisions in front of monkeys' heads. They got the Monkey Research Center out in Bastrop with TV screens hooked up at the Psych Warfare Center run by the Pentagon at UT. I'm not even supposed to talk about the fact I've been led in there repeatedly. And there's monkeys strapped in with TV screens, uh, uh, flipping American Idol background scatter on the monkeys, testing the algorithm in their brain and how to put in carrier waves over it to put them into a, a deep sleep process. <laughs> Just heaven help us. It's so hardcore. People won't even believe it. But that's the kind of stuff I never even get into because you're not ready for it. The globalists don't believe in Satanism. They believe they're contacting interdimensional aliens 
through the drug use and through the electronic interface. And they believe, and they actually write about, Ray Kurzweil, all of them, that they're going to merge with the machines, blast off into hyperdimensional space. And that's why they're so crazy. That's why they want to get rid of us. That's why they're smiling and giddy and acting so nuts. Because they believe, if you're a psychiatrist or, and, and, and are hearing this, understand, whether it's real or not, they believe they are in contact with these entities and are being directed by them. That's why they're so evil. And the entities are telling them eternal life, total power, total control, everything you could ever want. Just kill everyone. Set up a world government. Build this design we're telling you. Build what we're telling you. Build this. Build this. Let us through. Build the Hadron Collider. Open the dimensions. Let us in. We're going to really help you. We're friendly little guys. Demons? Aliens? Don't exist? I don't know. I only cover what I can prove. But now I'm telling you one of the big secrets of the elite, okay? And that gets pretty David Iking. I don't know if any of that stuff's real, ladies and gentlemen. But the point is, that's what the elite are into. That's what they believe. That's what's going on. And I know people separately who lived in San Francisco that knew PKD and other people and the government folks involved in all of it. I get a lot of information at this level. Oh, my God, we're screwed. We are in so much trouble, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a bunch of lunatic elites thinking they're talking to little gray men who are telling them how to get eternal life. Does that sound like a good idea to you? Whatever it is, they believe it. Whether it's, I mean, why would there be in every culture, you can get a Chinese person, uh, they've gone and given DMT to uh, tribes that have never been in human 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 uh, contact, and they see the little the little gray men, the little elves with the, with the, with the green hats. Yeah, <laughs> they fly around with Santa Claus. All right, folks. Okay, and uh, now I've just got into a whole other area here with you. I'm just going to get real here on the show from here on out. Okay, yeah, here it is. Army names top builders of virtual worlds. Army seeks smart bots in virtual world. And, and see, see, here's the problem. Everything I just told you. Uh, uh, search this Pentagon. Pentagon. Uh, Pentagon studies and DMT. I mean, it just goes on and on. The point is, whether it is some group consciousness thing in our brain that isn't real or whether it is real, I don't know and I don't get into things like that. But the point is, the elites believe they're in contact. Okay, they think it's real. I won't take DMT to, uh, to find out. And I don't recommend you take it either. Supposedly hallucinate for about five minutes, don't even know where you are. And uh, it can, it can, uh, you know, all the other, the heads of the 60s that it turned out were CIA and FBI. Uh, you know, all the main guys, it turned out, you know, who see the, the uh, mescalito when they take enough peyote. The little elf. They're not seeing pink elephants, folks. And these little elves are telling them, do this, do that. A lot of these scientists will tell you, oh, we, we, we got this idea to go this way in technology from the clockwork elves. Oh, they build things. Yes, they do. Now, I'm not saying any of this is real, but the Pentagon is whole hog in this stuff for 40, 50 years. I mean, they are completely obsessed with it. They put out the ingredients of DMT. They put out the ingredients of LSD. They put out the ingredients of PCP. They actually want you taking it. And the question is, why do they want you taking it? Because they want to open something up. And some will argue, well, it's good to have a psychedelic experience and to be able to reach out and expand your consciousness. But the question is, why does the Bible say don't do it? Because it opens up other worlds. Is it other worlds in our consciousness? Is it something in our subconscious? Maybe it's only in our brain. I don't know. But I shouldn't have even gone there. The point is, it just gets crazier by the minute. Pentagon's Cold War mind control test launched chemical Concussions and secret LSD. Yeah, that's that stuff from the 40s and 50s, yeah. I don't uh, I can see the DMT studies. Now, I don't need DMT to, to see how evil these globalists are. Um, let's go ahead, and, I, and I'm sorry for ranting. Uh, let's go to Claris in Italy. Thanks for holding, Claris. Hey, Jeff, how you doing? 